Developing tonight, one of Arizona's oldest family-owned car dealerships is in hot water, accused of deceptive and fraudulent practices against customers. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 6. I'm Kariva Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. Well, now the Coulter Tempe car dealerships are entering a settlement agreement with both the state attorney general's office and the FTC. 12 News journalist Joe Dana is here to explain the accusations and tell us what car customers should know. Joe? If you've ever been through the car buying process along the way, you felt you were deceived, you might take some satisfaction knowing that in this case, at least someone is cracking down on alleged deceitful practices. However, this company involved says they've done nothing wrong. We respectfully deny all the allegations from the FTC. Lindsay Coulter stands by her family's business practices. A claim filed in court today by Attorney General Chris Mays and the FTC alleges wrongdoing at the company's two Tempe locations, Coulter Cadillac Tempe and Tempe Buick GMC. Prosecutors allege the company advertised non-existent lower prices online to lure customers to the dealership, charged customers for unwanted add-ons and fees during purchases, and discriminated against Latino customers by pushing more interest and add-on charges. Attorney General Chris Mays telling 12 News, Coulter's deceptive and discriminatory practices are unacceptable. Coulter will pay $2.6 million in the settlement, most of the money going to customers allegedly harmed. For us, it made more sense to move on. Coulter says the dealership agreed to the settlement to avoid potentially years of litigation. So you're saying all of these allegations are just flat out baseless? Yes, I am saying that. But the claim alleges it was known customers felt mistreated that, quote, the general manager received complaints from consumers as well as updates from employees regarding persistent bait and switch advertising tactics and hidden add-on charges. Coulter tells me the general manager quit. Is it possible the previous manager did allow some of these things to take place? Absolutely not. Then I guess the natural question is, um, why is he gone now? Well, those are, you know, things that are between us and him and are not things that I can discuss. Coulter says if current or past customers believe they were unfairly treated, they can always call, call the store. Um, we have management here that can help them with anything. As part of the settlement, the company has agreed to new disclosures for customers and to train all employees on fair lending practices. And we will always be looking at our processes to make things more clear for customers. We've been in business for 100 years, and we plan to keep being in business for another 100 years. Now, the claim alleges that Latino customers paid an average of $1,200 more of unnecessary and add-on charges. Lindsay Coulter tells me she takes exception with any claim the company was discriminatory. She says she's seen no evidence of that and adds about 40% of the employees at the store are Latino. Back to you guys.